Well, hello guys, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Oh, lordy, 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 yeah. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, so I have witnessed you uh, all, uh, like, very, very upset. Well, not all, but, you know, the majority uh, about yesterday. So I'm just hoping that if I can explain some things that, it alleviates uh, this, you know, uh, feeling of uh, hopelessness uh, where uh, these two are concerned, okay? Because we have some uh, hidden benefits uh, as well. Um, but I'll start off by saying, okay, your reaction is absolutely normal, okay? Uh, to, to feel like, uh, you know, well, to feel like, uh, again, uh, they've got a, a way uh, with their what you would call terrible behaviour, okay? Um, so, I'm going to explain what's happened to you. Every time something uh, like this comes along, or when Meghan and Harry do something, so just lately it's uh, the court case, it's Ellen, it was Oprah, you know, it was uh, oh, the freaking, uh, what is it, life of service, anyone can do service, uh, you know. Um, so basically, every time these things happen, okay, it gets your hopes up because finally you think they're gonna get their comeuppance, okay, uh, and so your sense of uh, justice is there, isn't it? And we love justice, we like being right, and we like uh, being, uh, you know, seeing people, uh, you know, who have done wrong uh, get their just desserts, okay. So then when it doesn't go that way, and you know, you can't see uh, that what is going on um then you get very very uh agitated uh hopeless you know it's like oh god you know is this ever gonna end you've got that um what is it it's you're lethargic now where it comes to megan uh, megan and harry um and yeah so that's why you feel the way you do because you just feel like justice is getting uh snatched away from you okay but you've got to have faith okay you, you've got to have faith uh, if you can't have faith then you haven't really got much have you you know uh, faith that that you know it was a, a fair outcome okay now for those of you that don't understand about uh, this copyright uh, privacy case okay i watched the oh it was only on for about three and a half minutes i think uh you know it popped up on my phone so Oh, I logged in. Uh, well, you don't log in, you just click, don't you? But anyway, so, yeah, I thought, I'll listen to this. And I'm so glad I did, really. I'm so glad I did, because I think this time it was put in a far simpler way uh, for, for me and you to understand, OK? So, here it goes, then. <laughs> in simple terms, we are going to do a couple of cards, by the way, so don't worry, <laughs> don't give up. In simple terms, OK, if I wrote a song... If I wrote a, a song, uh, sent it out to a few people uh, and uh, waiting for feedback, you know, uh, see if the deal was going to go ahead. Uh, if I did that and then like within a, a certain amount of time or any time really it can be uh, that, you know, I was accusing somebody who was, uh, you know, had a song very, very eerily to, to man. So how they would ju judge that on the copyright is like uh, how many words per sentence uh, matched. Uh, they uh, like I don't know maybe twelve, twelve bars of uh, the the uh, notes. Okay, the the sound. Okay, uh, and so uh, yeah, I think uh, you know everybody knows in the record industry when you write a song uh, what. Uh, those limitations uh, are for you, you know, just to keep you out of uh, trouble and your ass covered. So in that, uh, so like taking it to court and, you know, uh, suing them, you know, it things like uh, who it, who listened to it, uh, you know, the time it was in play, uh, you know, uh, the audience uh, thoughts, uh, joy, not joy, you know, that would all be brought into it, but in actual fact, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's it serves no purpose, okay, in that case. So, uh, so the judge ain't gonna be listening to that, okay, uh, because at the end of the day, they just want to know was this a fucking copyright issue, okay? And I compare it to uh, music because some people quite understand that more. So even though, um. 
Jason provided, uh, you know, his music, uh, you know, saying that he, uh, the, that he co, you know, well, he cooperated with Finding Freedom and the, their letter, okay, and the, their letter. It wasn't quite relevant. I know you're going to say, oh, it proves she's a liar, but we're not in a judicial court, okay? This isn't like a, this isn't in a police court, you know, when you've committed a crime and, you know, you, you're getting your sentence in, okay? This is a civil thing, and that's why they call it civil, okay? Because uh, you're civil uh, to each other. It's done in a civil way. Uh, it's a civilian uh, case, you know? Um, so not one brought uh, about by the law. Um, so examples of a, a civil uh court case would be divorced you know getting divorced and basically megan's actions are akin uh to you know uh, the uh breadwinner who's a divorce the wealthiest you know adding his money uh saying he ain't got he ain't got this in and it can be she's as well uh you know uh ain't got money uh hides it uh you know forgets uh, about their pension uh coming into it uh you know how much they owe uh, whether they paid, uh, you know, most of the mortgage, etc. Okay, uh, and that's how it is. And so, for that reason, uh, people in a civil court, it's, it's rare. It's rare. Okay, I'm not going to say it's not un, not it's uncommon. Okay, but rare that uh, anybody could be charged with anything from you know such a case like copyright. Okay, <gasps> so like uh, copyright. So that's all they was interested in. Take away all the shit. Even Jason uh, saying he went to Finding Freedom, you know. We know he, he proves her calibre and her character, but her character isn't on trial and was never was, okay? It was the fact about a letter, okay, that got printed. So I understood this very quickly in uh, the way that they put it. First of all, on, uh, you know, the copyright, when they printed that letter, they printed a substantial uh, amount of the letter now i still had hope uh, on at uh, this point okay uh, but it was their next statement uh, that did it and i'm going to show you the difference when people magazine printed all that crap about the letter from a fast supposedly friends okay it was done as excerpts and came across uh, as a response uh, to, you know, to, to defend Megan, to get the, you know, the, the truth out there, okay? But they didn't publish that letter, uh, like, anywhere near what a &L did, and that's where a &L went wrong. Because not only did they um, over-publish the letter, okay, its content, but they never actually demonstrated, and if and and the judge alluded to this that it would have been different if they'd have done it differently. They've delivered it differently. Okay, uh, they made the letter the news. The letter the news. What they should have done was they should have shown, uh, you know, that this was a reaction. Uh, that's. Thomas uh, was having uh, and it print through his words and use uh, certain parts of the letter. But the judges found that that uh, couldn't, uh, didn't happen, okay, because of the salacious headlines, okay. Uh, the first headline it went out, okay, was we are in receipt of, or, you know, to the, to the effects of uh, this letter. Uh, not that, uh, you know, uh, how... Thomas was felt he had to defend himself, okay? And I think that letter was given uh, more or less straight away. Uh, so it was in their possession. And that's as simple as it is. It's a schoolboy error. It's a rookie mistake. And this is what they say uh, next time you'll know better you know people could cost you in business. Somebody in the fucking workplace at A&L, uh, you know, uh, didn't think this through, you know, uh, and how could you not consider that she was going to take action when you just know that was a massive, uh, pop, you know, uh, possibility. Now, the other thing as well, I think they just did it anyway, okay, in their way, uh, re regardless of the outcome, because, you know, it's easier, like Megan does, you know, it's easy just to go uh, ahead uh, and ask uh, for permission or forgiveness uh, later. So... 
you know that's kind of how it uh, is i'm afraid okay so as far as i'm concerned it was the correct decision okay having the correct uh, decision and justice is not just about delivering it the way we think it should be delivered you know i mean at the end of the day there was some uh, amazing uh, benefits uh, that have come out of this okay so i'm going to take you in that direction uh, now okay uh let's have a look then <laughs> okay so firstly the bullying case okay uh bullying Again, it's not uh, uh, it's not uh, been investigated by the police so far. So far, I say that okay. So far, right now, it's a uh, you know HR internal investigation cooperating uh, with uh, independent lawyers, okay, uh, and so they're uh, tasked uh, with that. But so far, it is not a police uh, case, okay. It's not going to in the court, okay. Uh, so it's just an investigation uh, for this moment. Had uh, a &L, uh, you know, gone to trial, the bullying would have probably got parked till around September next year. Because you've got the uh, trial to come up with, or Megan, uh, you know, the trial would have come off, uh, sorry, the bullying would have uh, been released after the a &L case. Because even though that's not in, uh, like, a police prosecution, it is uh, in civil uh, so. So therefore, takes precedence over the bullying, unless the bullying was, uh, you know, proven to be. It's going to be a police case, but that's not where we're at uh, at the moment. So that's a good thing, guys, because now uh, the bullying case is free. Okay, it's free. It's absolutely free to go ahead and be revealed uh, and dealt with when it is. They said it's going to be private. I cannot see the uh, stories uh, leaking. The only way we're going to find out about this is when the papers report, you know, uh, arrests are, are going to be made, uh, you know. Uh, and if she's done that and she's uh, thrown a, a cup of tea or coffee at somebody, that is uh, assault. You know, uh, spitting at somebody, you know, uh, that's uh, assault. I just don't know. I don't think she ever has spat. But God, it's disgusting, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. Uh, but yeah, uh, so right now it's able to go ahead. Now, the other thing is these poor victims, okay, these poor victims, and that's what they are. They are victims of uh, this bullying uh, investigation. It w the, the nerves would have been on edge thinking, oh, my God, so they'd be seeing what is a potential for them, you know, they'd be seeing that, you know, they'd be worried, oh God, will I have to, you know, will my, will my name be revealed, uh, you know, especially to Megan, you know, uh, will uh, I have to come forward, would I have to, you know, is there anything that I know uh, that has to be said, okay, so now these uh, victims can just rest easy, okay, and they get to have a nice karma Christmas, all right, because uh, it is, it's horrendous when you've been bullied, it is, it demoralises you, it steals you, robs your confidence, your esteem, you know, uh, like reduced, you know, all them years of working hard and building up and using that experience, you know, uh, it is all uh, shattered and taken away because you've been broken. Okay, these people have been broken. So I'm so pleased that, you know, they don't have to worry anymore. The worry is over. It stopped for them yesterday. And you may think, oh, well, how could they be involved? Well, Jason Knopf was, you know. <laughs> you just don't know, do you? You just don't know. Okay. Uh, and, uh, well, what else have we, we got? Yeah. The other thing is, you know, it, uh, this is an obvious one. Now Megan and Harry, and Harry, okay, have been uh, labelled as liars uh, uh, worldwide. Worldwide, okay. Uh, and so that's a good thing. And it, it is, you know. And then the last one. The last one, okay. Oh, rubbing our hands, isn't she? Rubbing our hands, okay? Rubbing our hands. Okay, so she's saying that uh, any money they get will be donated uh, to charities. Yeah. Watch it go to their own, okay? Uh, watch it go. So, hang on a minute. I don't know how this works out tax-wise, but if you're only paying fucking 5% to a charity, you've got 95 there. That's just slipped through untaxed, okay? Uh, so, you know, you may want to correct me if I'm on that, but, you know, that that's the gist of it. Okay, uh, and lastly, 
Well, Megan's confidence. This guy rocket, okay? Her attitude is arrogant. The next few weeks with her decisions that she makes, she doesn't realise it, but she's using uh, the, the uh, what is it? The endorphins of uh, winning, uh, you know, uh, and coming across to the public like she was set confident, you know, I've already won it once, uh, you know, I've already won it. Uh, and so now, so she's not going to uh, realise, but in the next few weeks, she's about to make some poor fucking decisions because she's going off a high, okay? Uh, and uh, uh, personality disorders do need highs uh, as well, you know, because uh, you go for, a, what is it, the uh, create... Destroy, create, destroy, create, destroy. In Megan's world, uh, fucking rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Okay, uh, I don't think relationships are like. So, that's kind of it. She's going to make some poor decisions, okay? She thinks she's a cockshire of herself, uh, you know, untouchable so far. Untouchable, you know. Look at me. I promise you guys, you know, she's... Uh, don't worry, okay? Just don't worry. I'd sooner uh, be jailed or, you know, uh, uh, so like arrested for, for bullying than for fucking, you know, getting a, an aid to, to give some information uh, to, you know, uh, Omid. Uh, 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 yeah, Omid. So I'd rather go down and get punished for that uh, than stupid copyright because at the end of the fucking day, you know, what what is copyright? when you compare it to these victims who are obviously victims you know uh they uh is it valentine uh law or whatever his name is you know he came out uh, and i could tell he was telling the truth i could absolutely and do you know what for him he's never known anything like this so this is absolutely uh crazy because if you was in a corporate fucking organization it's not allowed to happen you've got so many people uh around but what it is uh to a mixture of is, uh, you know, Harry and Meghan thinking they, you know, have too much power and the royals and, uh, you know, the firm guys, the men in grey so stepping back and just trying to let them uh, find their way, okay, uh, unapparent, un unaware uh, of where this is actually uh, going to, okay, uh, going to, so yeah, it's, uh, don't worry about it, okay, and just know that what that's what happens to you, you get despondent, uh, feel hopeless okay don't give up okay uh no, the universe don't give up on me it don't give up on you you know what it says is just this is not always how you see it okay so but we can be absolutely uh you know assured um that this bullying she won't get away with it she has done wrong she has broke the fucking law she has and i want her and the attention uh on her for bullying okay not for for winning uh against uh you know a, a newspaper who oh, by the way for fuck's sake you know <laughs> i mean they just print a lot of shit anyway you know they really do uh they print a lot of shit so uh you know th that's a lesson uh for them to learn as well you know next time <laughs> only so like responders it's a story that you know michael is uh appealing now you can actually find this uh somewhere where he, he does uh explain it it's very quickly by the way but you know uh it put they don't sort of like get their point across don't they uh fucking hell if i was a judge we'd be there all day <laughs> excuse me one minute i forgot what i was going to say <laughs> but yeah anyway so uh so i hope you uh feel better for that now i know i've waffled all the way through but that was needed okay but what i do want to know uh, a couple of cards is you know uh are you know actually you know stupid enough uh to go uh through supreme uh court you know because I don't see how they can win it. And now I understand. And I had the solicitor. Uh, he's uh, the media team. And he said no, no objection. How are A&L uh, feeling uh, about this court case? Are they not happy?
do you know what um yeah so it hasn't quite uh, worked out uh, in the way that they thought okay uh I think because, you know, I'm seeing like a, a so it was definitely uh, difficult. Uh, there were so many temptations, uh, you know, to, to sort of like uh, show these two. And it does look like Harry and Meghan uh, are, are not in a, a good place as well. And I think that they could, uh, you know, uh, they know this. They absolutely know it, you know. Um, I think they're tempted to, you know, to, to do something, uh, you know. Uh, but. I'm getting them not committing to something or something is not committed to. Uh, so not committing, not committing. Well, not going ahead, is it? Not going ahead. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's uh, been difficult uh, for them. But, you know, I think they're really pleased as well, though, that they, yeah, it's Harry and Meghan. They've got to show them up in the court. They absolutely uh, got to show them up in the court. So, uh, so yeah, they're feeling good uh, about that. I think they know. I think they knew. <laughs> Lack of commitment, you know, not going ahead. I think they knew it won't go in anywhere. But we'll ask anyway. Uh, will uh, the A and L uh, appeal? No. Oh dear, I don't know, you know, I don't know, I've got the devil uh, reversed here, so, you know, somebody's feeling uh, spiteful uh, and vengeful, um, you know, uh, somebody's really got it uh, against either Meghan and Harry or, I think they'll, no, do you know what, oh no, 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 come on, come on, come on girl, I don't think they are going to uh, go ahead, I see no reason for it, I see that they understood, uh, so, no, but I'll tell you what they are open to do. They're going to, uh, you know... Uh, doesn't want to look bad to others. I think this is, uh, you know, about Megan. Whenever I get this card, the devil reversed, I just feel like, uh, you know, they know stuff. They know stuff. Look, so major arcana. They know what a fucking she-devil she is, you know. Uh, devil incarnate. Uh, I mean, she gives the fucking devil a bad name, actually. Uh, but, you know, you've got, uh, yeah, she's angry uh, and uh, she's spiteful, she's vindictive, she hides it, she pretends to be somebody else, you know, uh, she doesn't listen uh, to other people, okay? I think that's where they're going to focus uh, next. Hopefully, hopefully, they'll get their own back, won't they? I mean, they are one of the biggest papers uh, left. So how do they feel? You know, they've exposed uh, Harry uh, and Meghan for the liars and uh, the nasty, uh, pe you know, people they are. I think that's what they're going to focus on uh, rather than going to uh, appeal. There's just no way uh, you could do this because I just think that nothing will ever change about that ruling, OK? And if I understand it, then their solicitors do, you know? So I think, uh, you know, they're, they're going to uh, get their own back. What will be uh, a and L's next move regarding Megan? Oh, they're all bad. They're all bad. <laughs> I see that they're sorely, uh, you know, they're, they're sorely pointed, but... Uh, and no, I, I, I don't know if I cleared this up, but the fucking royal family have nothing to do with this and do not, you know, uh, or have not in this case, uh, you know, uh, shut them down. I mean, really? Well, the fuck? It's, it's got more harm to do with uh, them. I mean, do you know what? I think people think all these, the royal families have got uh, like loads and loads and loads of secrets. Uh, and dead bodies under the fucking uh, stairs, you know, skeletons in their closet. But in 95 years of having our Elizabeth, have you ever fucking seen that for yourself? Because I haven't. They're going to fucking ruin her. They're going to fucking ruin her. <laughs> See, guys? See, she's going down for the bullying. She is going down for the fucking bullying, okay? They're going to ruin her, uh, you know. But it also brings into uh, their royal family as well. Again, it's something that, you know, they end up uh, embroiled with. 
Uh, but, you know, it's all about Megan. <laughs> the aim is uh, uh, Megan. And, of course, it would affect her as, you know, they're going to bring everybody into it uh, uh, as well. I think they may run with uh, stories from people, so they certainly know what to do now. Uh, you know, this has been a lesson, hasn't it, okay, uh, about using information uh, uh, and so much of it in one go uh, and not delivered uh, in the correct, uh, acceptable format. That is a lesson. They fucking learnt it, okay? So, no way will they leave themselves wide open for Megan to sue them on this, okay? We like it. We like it, okay? You have to have hope, darlings. You have to have uh, hope. Because the same people that are looking out for Megan are also, you know, looking out uh, for, for the Queen and, you know, every other person. So yeah, uh, yeah. So a good lesson uh, to to learn. And so uh, you know how uh, how will this uh, affect uh, Megan? Uh, how will this affect her and her life and her future dreams and her ambitions? Fuck's sake. <laughs> so we ask about Megan. All we get is that, don't we? All we get is that. It's not her, man. No, it's uh, another fucking fake pregnancy. Oh, well. Uh, another pregnancy. Another fake pregnancy. Uh, you know, well, it's fake to Megan. It's not to the, the person, is it? So, yeah, I think she's going to play the fucking mom card. Uh, I hope uh, somebody uh, around where she is being a mom. So, in the home, maybe, or somebody at the nursery. You know, uh, as somebody somewhere uh, around whenever Megan is with the children, okay? So, there'll be somebody uh, wanting to, to share this, okay? I mean, I think somebody was tempted uh, to, to come forward uh, and they didn't, okay? Because uh, they was frightened. They was frightened. But I, I don't. I say, oh, this is so bad. So, you, you know, you got your partnership upside down, relationship upside down, you know, uh, uh, being called out for, uh, you know, a vindictive, spiteful fucking ways. The a &L out to ruin her, you know, and what she left with. The kids, you know, yeah, she'll come out, uh, I'm pregnant, you know, get fucking pregnant, yeah. Don't send me to jail, guys, I'm pregnant, you know. Oh, I can't attend court, I'm pregnant, you know. So, uh, yeah, I definitely uh, feel that. And we've been saying this for the last couple of weeks, haven't we? Uh, we? We have said this. It just keeps popping up. And I know that... Uh, we said uh, about uh, Harry use it. She won't get a mum out. This ain't her fucking mum. It's not her mum. It's her because she she adds a mother. You know she's been adding her since uh, she, you know the last few months. I mean I, I would have thought fucking hell uh, with her physique and the yoga and all like that uh, she'd have got back into to shit pretty soon. Ah, uh, oh. Dear me, oh dear me. Anyway, so that's the verdict, okay? That is uh, the verdict. Uh, let, let's see, let's see. But guys, don't give up, you know, don't give up. The universe shrinks a little bit every time you lose hope or a bit of faith, you know? And it'll be like, uh, did you, do you remember what, that uh, video? Video, film, film, film. No, I can't remember it anyway, but it was like a... Oh, it had a dragon in it, and every time uh, Fantasia, that was it, Fantasia. Uh, and if you didn't believe, and every time you lost a bit of hope, it slowly disappeared. Okay, so I need you to bump it up. Uh, you know, put your energy back into the universe. Trust them, trust them, trust them. Okay, uh, because uh, well, you know. All the good things come to an end <laughs> at some point. Okay. All right, guys, uh, I'll get off. Uh, that was just a, a quickie for you. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Bye now. Bye-bye.